Hi. Now, if you use movie rise, you're going to want this. Um, well, you're going to need it anyway. Um, as you know, with movie rise, when it creates your files for uploading to your website, it will add loads of hidden links, like you get the site made by way to the movie rise website builder. You will get uh, the generator movie rise and movie rise com and then further down you will get lots of links like engine external https uh, movie rise dot com movie rise com and throughout all the code you will find loads of these links um, and also if you've forgotten to remove some links from some of the navbar button no, navbar buttons or other buttons and links you'll end up with loads of links to movierise.com on your site so also you'll find that there's a script that's in the uh, themes that if you haven't got the engine link on your page then the script will automatically add it to your page um, at the time of the page being drawn so the thing is we want to get rid of those and we want to get rid of those easily um, at the moment you have to go through and manually edit every page to remove all these um, unnecessary links they also pro cause problems with Google and they affect your SEO so here's a little program that will do it all for you what you do is you publish your site initially to a folder so you'll put your all your files in a folder um, on your hard drive okay so once you've published files to it, before you upload them to your website you just open up MobyClean you select the folder where you've uh, put your files um, so you've published your files to say uh, where are we we published them to test 99 there we go so you select a folder you type in what you would like any mobilized links um, that are found to change to which will normally I would have thought be your own website's uh, URL then the name of your website which to replace the mobilize name um, if it finds any site uh, any email addresses like there's a support at email support at movierize.com that appears on some pages then whatever your email address is that you want to, to replace it with and then there's an additional option which will look for any additional movierize.com links um, this is a prototype um, so uh, use that one with caution but it will remove every other movierize link uh, in any of the pages and you, once you click that you will get a warning um, to say that you've uh, that you're using that prototype and you should check your pages okay so once you've made your selections it's quite simple you just click start process it will then go through every page in your site and that script and it will replace all the necessary components um, automatically for you and it only takes a few seconds and then you can just carry on and upload your pages and files to your website this is quite a big website we did for the test there we go job is done so now let's have a look at some of those pages um, if we look at that first one we just had a look at the index page you'll see it's now replaced the site made by uh, with mobilize to site made by our site name and it will add a little line at the top of the code just to say that it's been cleaned so you know which page which pages have been cleaned successfully then if we look at the generator it's now been changed to your site name if we look at the engine uh, the engine link has now been changed and we can find when I can see it because it's been changed it's here somewhere uh, there it is. 
So the engine has now been changed to our site's name and uh, site link and any other links have been changed as you can see to our own site rather than the Movieize links. Okay, there they are. So they've all been automatically changed. Now you'll also note that um, where they shouldn't be changed, where move your eyes should not be removed from, then it will not have been removed. For example, here in the assets, uh, the path there, assets, move your eyes, it, it leaves that alone because it's, it's required. Um, so it will only re replace things um, that don't really want to be there. And if we look at the script as well, it's now been replaced so that instead of putting mobilize.com in, it will put our site's name in it instead. And we can look at some other pages as well. So if we take page 16, you'll see that that one has been done as well. And it's removed all the mobilize links and replaced them. As you can see here, we didn't change any of the links in the nav bar so it's now changed them all to our own site um, uh, from the move your eyes and it did it in a matter of a few seconds uh, on here like for the form action for a uh, form which has to go to movieeyes.com because that's where the that's going to process the, uh, the the form so it leaves it alone so it stays as it should do Okay, so everything has been changed that should be, and we've got rid of all that mobilize engines and things, and they now are links to our own site, improving our SEO. Okay, so that's that done. Now, you, when you exit the program, uh, the program will automatically save our last settings here so the next time we come in so if we now go off and do some changes to our site and publish it to the same folder and we come back here everything is there we just have to click the start process button and it will carry on and redo all the new all the files that we've just redone uh, that we've just re um, published so you have you don't have to mess around keep having to put all this in the time if you're working on a specific site so that's the uh, the system it's nice and easy to use as I say with all those pages that we had there it takes just a few seconds to replace everything for us automatically and there we go jobs done okay um, if you find any links that it doesn't clear that you think it should do then click the help me button and get in touch with me here and then future programs I will add the uh, the extra things into uh, the list of things to be replaced um, and there's a few little notes just to consider when you're running the program okay so that's it I say when you quit the program that will automatically save these information here um, and then if you want to change it to a different one then you just obviously overwrite which is what what's already there the only option that won't save is the prototype option at the bottom when you reload the um, program if we quit now and then we go back uh, you'll see that that doesn't reload that click um, you do have to manually add that each time you go back in but all the other things like the location and the file names etc or uh, site names are all saved for you okay now that will be released very shortly I've got a few little things to do and to just to create the installation program um, but it should be available within the next few days so keep keep your eye out here and uh, get it when it's ready okay have a good weekend